Retailer Target came out with its latest earnings that laid out just what's happening in the economy in our collapsing cities and the enormous price big businesses now paying to appease their woke activists. Target has been taking heat on social media and in its stores over some of its LGBTQ merchandise. Target sales were down 5.5%, missing expectations of 3.5% decline, and a huge miss to their biggest competitors, Walmart and TJ Maxx, who both recently announced. For the first time in four years, Target's traffic, the number of shoppers and stores, went down. Well, paying shoppers, more on that in a moment. Their earnings held up mostly because a year ago they were liquidating a glut of unsold inventory that is now apparently liquidated. Still, Target's earnings multiple, their stock price per dollar of sales, is now lower than Walmart's, which is quite embarrassing. So what happened? First, Target admitted the Pride Month backlash. They were heavily promoting trans swimwear to kids, pushed sales, quote, sharply lower amid a consumer boycott hitting profits and dropping the stock 22 percent that's about 15 billion dollars i'm guessing they were not making 15 billion on the brave and stunning swimwear given the ceo promise to tone it down going forward the other interesting detail was the industrial scale shoplifting target reported a loss 1.3 billion in inventory shrink the corporate name for theft for perspective that means about one in 20 items sold at target were actually stolen which is up over half on the previous year and the product liberators are getting more violent. Target saw a 120% increase in theft incidents involving violence or threat of violence. Theft is now spreading like wildfire across all of American retail as rogue prosecutors in America's biggest cities coddle their favorites. The price, of course, is paid by the rest of us. Everything that's stolen has to be paid up by those who are actually buying. Kohl's and Foot Locker have also recently warned theft is crushing their bottom line. Home Depot is hiring more security guards. Walmart and Nordstrom's are closing stores, while some cities, of course, are nearly empty, like downtown San Francisco. Big retail is likely to get worse in America behind, beyond the anti-consumer marketing and five-finger sales. We have inflation and the economy on the horizon while pandemic era savings are running out. The Fed is now estimating that the amount of the hundreds of billions built up during the pandemic will be gone by next month. We may see a lot more towns and cities in America turn into retail deserts as customers shift online where you can pick a retailer that doesn't hate you and where it's harder for violent gangs to liberate the entire store. What's most frustrating about what's happening to America today is that these things are not difficult. Respecting your customer, arresting criminals, even staying out of the way of the economy are not rocket science. The people who are causing this are not stupid, but the incentives push them to outcomes that destroy their organizations, their communities that are destroying the country. Okay, we'll be watching. See you next time.